Shout out to these fans for being the inspiration for this video. If you have any cool ideas for a future video, let me know in the comments below. I may just give you a shout out. What's up, Net Soldiers? I am Net Alliance. Today I have a really interesting topic, but real quick before I jump into it, I have seen Rogue One, and there will be a review coming out, and I will be redoing my Star Wars movie ranks. However, before I do my review or my rank, I wanted to see the movie a second time just to really get a good opinion of it. So that will be coming out in the next few weeks, so make sure to like and subscribe for that. Anyways, let's jump right into this video. As you can tell from the thumbnail, we're gonna be talking about the Darth Vader scene in Rogue One. So if you haven't seen Rogue One yet, you probably shouldn't watch this unless you don't really care about spoilers, in which case then, watch this video. So let me just jump right in and say this. Some people really love this scene. I heard it was the movie saver. It's the only reason why the movie's good. I also heard that, oh, it's terrible. It's it's so retarded. They didn't have to do this. They ruined Vader's character. And I was thinking to myself like, honestly, it was a very cool scene, but it didn't have to be in the film, but I'm okay it was. Personally for me, I see it kind of as this was Disney's way of giving us a lightsaber without truly giving us really that much of a lightsaber. I remember early talks of the film, they said there'd be no lightsabers at all. I remember in my one prediction video, which I will be going over very soon, so make sure to like and subscribe for that one too. I actually predicted that we will see Vader with a lightsaber, but we won't actually see any lightsaber fights. And I actually got some flack for that. Some people were like, no, there's not going to be any lightsabers, dude. It, it, there's no Jedi in this. I mean, Darth Vader is in it, right? But there's no there's no Jedi, so there won't be any fights or anything. There's no reason for him to use a lightsaber. And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure we're going to see it. I don't think Disney has gained enough fans' trust yet to be able to not have a lightsaber in it. And honestly, even though it isn't part of the main saga, it is still a Star Wars story, so there should be a lightsaber somewhere in there. Because don't forget, no matter how realistic you want to make a film, even if it is based in the Star Wars universe, you have to add that kind of fan fantasy element there. That's what makes it Star Wars. Otherwise, you just have things like Star Trek, and no one wants to be Star Trek if they can be Star Wars. Let's be honest. So while I think this scene did not actually have to be in the film, it was pretty entertaining, and I kind of enjoyed it. In fact, I think this scene opened up really, really well. We see a dark corridor, the door locks, and the rebels are like, oh, hey, oh my god, let open up, open up, open up. And then we hear, Yeah, I'm not very good at that sound, but you guys know what I'm going for. And I was actually in the theater with my friends and my fiance, and I was actually like, come on, come on during this scene, because I was like, bring that lightsaber out. I want to prove all the haters, all the naysayers wrong. I want to prove them that I was right, and there was lightsaber in it. And guess what? Sure enough, bam. Vader whips out the lightsaber, and I'm like, yes. And I actually remember when me and my friends were talking after the movie, they were like, why did you say yes when Vader whipped out the lightsaber? I'm like, it's a long story, but let's just say I won an argument. So after Vader ignites his saber, he just completely devours these rebels. And of course, they're trying to shoot him and stuff, but there's no way they're going to destroy Vader. I mean, come on. First off, he's Vader. Second off, he has to kind of survive because it's a new hope. So, yeah. And essentially, Vader just rips through all these rebels. It's just, like, crazy. It looked like a scene straight out of the recent Battlefront game. It was actually really cool to see. So I guess the new Battlefront game can at least have one pro about it. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, personally, did this scene have to be in this film? No. But am I glad it was in it? Yes, I think it was a great way to kind of show just how powerful Vader really is, because when you think about it, the original trilogy did show us a strong Vader, and we knew that he was strong, but we never really saw it showcased like that, where he could take on a battalion of troops and completely annihilate them. Because the Rebels, not only was Vader just a really powerful fighter, but he was also very scary and intimidating. They didn't know what he was. And I feel like that was showcased in this scene perfectly. But of course, as we know, the Rebels get away with the Death Star plans. And in the end, we see a CGI Leia, which honestly just is, looks, oh my gosh, like, why? But I'll get into that with my Star Wars Rogue One review, so we'll just kind of let that sit. And then in the end, Leia and her ship gets away. Vader's standing there like, well, I'm coming after you. And essentially, that's where a new hope begins. So in conclusion, did this scene save the entire film? And the answer would vary on your opinion of the film itself. But when it comes down to it, it didn't really save the film for me. It added a little extra to the film that I enjoyed, so that's a good thing. But I do personally feel that this film could have went without it. But of course, that's just my opinion. Did you enjoy the Darth Vader scene? Did you think it added to the film? Would you rather have it not in the film? What is your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.